Hello everybody, this is Joey. Um, I'm back for, let me check the date. Day 17 of Vlogtober, so. <sighs> How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm a little tired for no apparent reason. I did actually get a decent amount of sleep today, uh, so that's pretty good. I consider anything more than six hours a decent amount. Did I sleep more than six hours today? I slept right at six hours today, so maybe a little less. I did wake up at one point and had a little trouble going back to sleep, but I was only up for maybe 15 minutes. Anyway, uh, don't really know what I want to talk about today, um, so I'll just talk about kind of what I did today. I got home from work. Uh, I don't think I did too much when I got home from work. I probably came home and checked my email. Uh, I'm not even sure if I did that. I might have sent one text message or something like that. And then I pretty much went straight to bed. Um, oh, you know what? I think I ate a piece of pizza or a couple pieces of pizza or something. And then I went to bed. Uh, then I got up around... 1 o'clock, or actually woke up around 11 o'clock. I wake up at 11 o'clock every day without fail for some reason. I don't know what causes that, but I do wake up every day at about 11 o'clock. And uh, I won't say every day, but I would say 90% of days. Um, so I did go back to sleep. I slept to about 1, 1 1.15, something like that. Then I got back up and... Uh, I don't remember what I did at that point. I think I just kind of... Oh, I checked my email, uh, sent some text messages and stuff. Uh, then I put my clothes on and... Uh, no, let's see, did I do that? No, I ate first. I ate some lunch. And uh, then I went to... Um, uh, took a shower, put my clothes on, went down to the driver's testing station that I usually go to to get my driver's license changed like my you know renewed or the address changed or whatever and it turns out they don't do that anymore there they just do reinstatements so like if you get your driver's license revoked for whatever reason they all they do there is reinstate it so now I think there are only three places in all of Nashville where you can go to get your driver's license renewed or um, address changed, that sort of thing. There's only three places. Um, four if you count the place that um, doesn't do commercial driver's license, but since I have a commercial driver's license, which means I can drive big trucks, I can't go there. And I have to go to the driver's license stations because um, uh, I have to go because um, I have a commercial driver's license so I can't in the state of Tennessee you cannot renew I, it might be like this in every state I'm not sure but you cannot renew your driver's license you cannot do anything with your driver's license over you know the internet or through mail or anything like that if you have a commercial driver's license, you must show up in person. And I think this is because you have to have a medical card. Uh, if you have a commercial driver's license, basically you have to go like once every two years and get a physical. And then you take that, they give you a card, and then you take the card up to the driver's license station, and they have to look at it to prove that you're physically fit enough which is ridiculous. There's truck drivers that can barely get up and out of their trucks. You know, they can barely climb in and out. They're so uh, overweight. Uh, I, I really don't know how effective that are, those uh, physicals are. But anyway, uh, I guess the, the long and the short of it is you have to you have to show up in person anytime you want to do anything with your driver's license. So. Uh, I actually moved last summer, uh, not at, at the summer of 2010, I moved and I never changed my address on my driver's license just because it's 
such a hassle to go up because you have to go up to that place and since there's so few places in Nashville to do it you have to wait in line a minimum usually of about two hours I've waited as long as five hours in line to uh, get um, some stuff changed so it's extremely frustrating it's, uh, I mean if if you have like a day job you basically have to take a day off from work to go do this stuff. I mean, it's that bad. So, um, uh, yeah. So, anyway, it's it's extremely frustrating and annoying that uh, in this day and age, I have to go through all this trouble to uh, get my driver's license renewed and get my address changed. Um, but I do. So, I guess tomorrow. I'm gonna try again. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the uh, one of the full service places, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I'm gonna to try to do it early in the morning. They don't open till 8:30, so I'm usually in bed by 8:30. And if you wait until later in the day, then you're gonna you're definitely gonna be waiting three or four hours to uh, in line just to get your driver's license done whatever it is that gets done with it so uh, I'm hoping that I can stay up a little bit and uh, go up there and do it first thing in the morning and be right be there at 8:30 and be one of the first few in line so that uh, and I hope I have all my paperwork in order I don't you know you never know when you get up there and then when you get up there they're so like smug about it and jerks about it they're like well you know you need this certain piece of paperwork and what you have will not work and, I, and I'm like Ugh, why does it have to be so difficult um, I guess it has to be so I mean I guess the reason it has to be so difficult is so they're trying to prevent you know illegal immigrants and terrorists and such from getting IDs but those people are still able to get IDs so it's it just makes it frustrating for everybody else and it doesn't solve any problems as far as I can tell like <laughs> there are so many illegal immigrants in this town um, that have real IDs that I, I don't you know what's what's the point what's the point of going through all this trouble to prove that you're a, a citizen, prove you live where you live, and all this kind of stuff, when uh, apparently it's and also incredibly easy to fake your way through all that. So, uh, anyway, I don't want to get off on a tangent there, but uh, I think it's just a universal law that going to uh, the DMV or the Department of Safety or whatever it's called in your state to get your driver's license renewed or updated or whatever is freaking annoying and stupid so anyway uh, kind of a shallow topic today but a topic nonetheless so anyway peace out talk to you later bye